a mini split here of um, king valves. So what you're gonna do is then you put your connections on and then back these down just a hair to let the gas through. And when you're done, you're gonna shut these valves off all the way to be able to pull these uh, connections off. If not, you're gonna lose all your refrigerant with the king valves. Very important. If you see these type of caps on there, it's them are king valves. I've heard of guys um, getting frostbite and it hurting their fingers because they didn't know about the king valves. So, I don't want to do that. Alright, let me start this thing up. It's got Freon in it. Let me start it up and see what's happening. I want a mini split. Both lines are the low side. They're both covered. So you don't have a high and a low here. They're both low. It says 86 in here, it says for 70. That's quite the unit, man, right in, the, right in the ceiling. Blowing four ways. Definitely a nice unit. Alright, let's check it outside. Showing me like it's low on charge here. See it 15, 16. I try adding a little bit of freon to see what happens. Alright, I'm adding a little bit of freon in this thing. Six 
found the refrigerant out the other day. You know, it's all dried up on the ground, it's not wet anymore, it's not sweaty. This is the other one we just worked on. This one's all the fins have been scraped out, straightened out. This one's not sweating anymore either, so good. So you guys know, I know this is all clean refrigerant in this, this container here. And if I do ch add a little bit from here, I, I put it in from the liquid off the bottom of the tank. This recovery tank, I'll let sit. If I do recover some refrigerant, I always check and make sure it's not burnt before I put any in there. And um, I'll open up that uh, the vapor line. So if there's any air accumulating on the top of the tank, then you can blow it off. This ain't looking bad, it's starting to come, it's come in the range here. It's looking better. I'll let it run to stabilize, but I might have to add a little bit more. Just a little bit. My evaporator is 39. Before it was in the 20s when it was low in refrigerant. That's why the ice up. It was in the 20s. I had a low charge. That's why the system on, on uh, low in refrigerant will ice up. Anything below 32, you know, 32 is what causes ice. So that's the temperature ice forms. See how hard it is? I'm sweating right on my meter here. Let it run for a while and stabilize. You don't want to rush the judgment on a charge because then, you know, you put too much in. will be about what we're shooting for on this baby, so. Ceiling. That's a nice unit, man. Like I said, the filter's clean. I checked the filter. Beautiful. He's gonna be happy with that. It's a little handheld unit right there. Yep. Alright, guys, before you take off your. Uh, what I did is I shut my, my red off and my yellow and I open up both valves over there. I dump the liquid in the um, suction line. Then once they stabilize on the gauges, I'll shut this one off. Now on these king valves, what you're going to do is 
you're going to back it. You're going to back it out all the way. And then that shuts this port off. And you can take off your hose. There's no straighter valves on these, so I'll put some nylog on there. See how it's bubbling up? That fucker's leaking by. See it? I'm gonna have to get a good cap for that. See the bubble there? Yeah, that's where our leak is. So I got some good caps here. So I got this little pouch here for it. Got some real good caps. Caps I buy. Put all different kinds in here. These are the ones I like to use, the JBs. They got the rubber on there. I'm gonna put that on there and see if I can seal it, because if not, it's gonna have a problem with this thing leaking. There's no way of um, shutting that off unless this cap will hold the pressure. I usually put it go with these rubber caps. The rubber's on them. That's where his leak is in that king valve. Right the bed, sucker. I'm hoping that's gonna work for him. change the straighter valve but not on this shit. That's what my is good for. And these here, this one you can tighten the pack and not a on. That big kick valve. The small one you can't. Just put some dialog on it and see if it got leaks. You know, this stuff's kinda like snot. I think we're going to be good here with this now. It's going to be alright for a while. I'm not saying it's not going to leak out, but it should last longer. This is where the leaks were, right on these ports. And what he had here was just these caps with these plastic, these copper inserts in there. They don't work that great. That's what I use that little bag for. I leave it right inside my uh, pouch. I've got all the little caps. I leave it right in there on the tray. Alright guys, that's about it. Thanks for watching.